East and West. Frequently, they're influencing each other. From the underground to the mainstream, resulting in a blend of sights, sounds, and styles that signals the future of pop culture. Join me on a journey of music without borders. First, meet South Korean superstar Taeyeon. Then, find out how the breakdown of theirs is changing the game for new artists. And see each fashion designer is rocking both continents. This global girl won't stop until I experience it all. For Taeyang, his success was first one at home before expanding worldwide. But in the new global music universe where technology has banished borders, many up-and-coming artists aren't waiting to make their mark overseas. Fresh artist Jarrell Perry sees an opportunity in the R&B and hip-hop loving East and has more of a connection to it than you'd think. A singer and songwriter, this LA native is big on creativity. We are where right now? Uh, we're at Mad Ave, um, which is a dope, like, just multi-purpose creative space. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the headquarters for me and my team, and also a lot of other people kind of creating a community in, um, over here in Los Angeles on the east side. You know, as I was growing up, I grew up in Orange County, so it's kind of like, um, you know, a mix of different people. Like, I was oftentimes, like, the only black kid in my class, you know? <laughs> so, like, you know, it was a, it was um, a lot of different influences, right. you know? So. I ended up listening to indie rock, like getting really into the electronic scene. Um, even when I got to college at UCLA, just, you know, I had a band that was people from like classic rock and then like jazz drummers and jazz wow. keyboards. So just, you had a band, like an official yeah, yeah, college band? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. What was your band called? Uh, it was called JP and the Ambassadors. Don't look it up. <laughs> and, um, and now the new project, I'm taking a lot of influences from artists like Rusko, who I've worked with before. Um, you know, Mike Snow, uh, we've listened to a lot of like M83, Twin wow. Shadow, just a lot more, um, I, I like sounds, like I'm a fan yeah. of sounds and just soundscapes and environments, right. so I want to create music that you can actually live in. And Very like, atmospheric. Yeah, 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 like that. so that's basically what it's all about. It's definitely been a journey, like um, I put out an album um, a couple months ago called Simple Things, which is definitely like across the spectrum. Um, it was kind of like a soundtrack to your life. There were songs for, you know, good times, bad times, yeah. whatever. Um, the new project that I'm putting out, it's called The White EP. Um, there definitely is like a darker side to yeah. it, but it's, it's really just introspective. It's more just about being honest with yourself right. and kind of like opening, you know, that side to the world. I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, they might see me as, you know, just I'm a black male artist that sings R&B music, um, but they, so they wouldn't realize, you know, that I had a brief stint like writing K-pop records or something like <laughs> <What>? that. <Yeah. laughs> Tell um, me about that. <laughs> so yeah, like, um, I mean, a lot of people started out like years ago, they were on MySpace, you know, yeah, I had yeah. a ton of people on MySpace and like one of them just happened to be, you know, connected to the K-pop scene and I ended right. up writing with um, Henry Lau, who's a member of like Super Junior and, um, and uh, we just started writing records for the album. And then um, even one of them, like, uh, I had to demo it, and I, I decided I wanted to demo it in Mandarin Chinese. And I was like, I can do that. Like, let me just you know, copy right. the sounds. And then, um, you know, I had a lot of friends that spoke Chinese yeah. or whatever. I'm really into languages, so, yeah. you know, just stuff like that. Like, I don't put any limits. You just, shot for the stars. Yeah, this, this is, why not? Another artist with an eye on the East is Canadian-born singer and songwriter Kay. I like trickies and gold chains. I put rum in my lemonade. With a passion too big to stay in one market, she's been busy developing fans overseas. Just back in the States, we caught up over art of a different kind. She's back from Japan, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> I love Japan. It was just kind of one of those things that I've always kind of had in the back of my mind and on the back where I'm like, I really want to go to Japan when the time is right, when maybe anyone in Japan is interested in my music or sure. something. I honestly don't know why I came back. Well, it was a lot different from the whole US, Canadian, North American label. So different. 
completely different. They're super organized on top of things and they really care. Uh, they really listen to all my music and I don't know, it's just so different. I feel like the Japanese really love music. Like yeah. They really care about the music. Now she has two Japan tours under her belt, as well as bragging rights for collaborating with some of the hottest international DJs and producers, from Steve Aoki to Diplo. So you collab with a lot of people all around the world here in LA and Canada. Tell me more about that. I actually just came back um, the other day. I was in Toronto for a couple days writing for my new album with Nelly Furtado. And you just dropped, what, was it an album or an album? I dropped an album in Canada and Japan. And for US, I'm gonna wait a little while. For me, I feel like I relate to like a Nelly Furtado, I relate to Missy Elliott. They're strong women who are kind of quirky and different. Yeah. Who don't, they're not the typical like, sexy, they're sexy in their own way, which is really cool. And I know like that's a we connect, like we get that. Yeah. Like, I think that's really cool. I'm just doing sh my way. Don't care if it's okay. For me, I've already made it. I'm living in LA and I'm touring the world, but obviously I have other goals. Let's be serious. Do I wake up at 6 a.m. and drink black coffee and take diet pills and get a treadmill and go? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just as crazy as the rest of us are. It's like, it's never good enough, but I'm really happy. Which clothing designer styles to rock on two continents? Stay tuned. So you just finished your awesome show. I feel great. Actually, this is the first time in San Francisco. 